holy shit news. Holy shit news is what I'm calling this specific video right now. Because the news I'm about to share with you, man, it's got fans riled up. People are going to go on riots for what just happened. I'm getting news right now. Mauro Ronaldo has left the WWE. Who's this because of? Well, you know his name. John Bradshaw Layfield. JBL apparently again accused of bullying, upsetting, pissing off, even de making Mauro Ronaldo a little bit depressed. Um, and Mauro Ronaldo came out strong and said, some things just cannot be ignored. The, what, that, that sets off uh, a huge bombshell right there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is very, very concerning. This is very, very... Um, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, shock, it's not really that shocking at this point because I, I, I seen yesterday that Mauro Ronaldo was about to leave, but now it's actually happening. Holy shit. Mauro Ronaldo gone because of JBL. The guy did everything he possibly could in his commentating role and now left because of JBL. I don't know, man. Let's get right into this news story. Apparently, Mauro Ronaldo is likely gone from the WWE. He is set to announce Showtime Boxing event. We He is not going to tell us straight up at all anything if this was jbl if this was something else um and whether he does go to showtime boxing and is announces showtime boxing he's not going to say anything about the wwe he's not going to say anything about jbl um he pretty much tweeted out that um april 7th uh 2017 9 33 p.m yesterday he said i will be at ringside for showtime boxing april 22nd at the barclay center for berto porter and I hope to call MMA again soon. Thanks. It's not often that someone who is visible in WWE leaves the company without any word from either side as to why. But it seems that this may be the case with Mauro Ronaldo at the moment. Ronaldo, who has been largely absent lately on social media, took to Twitter to announce he will be ringside for the upcoming Showtime boxing event uh, that he hopes to get back uh, you know, to and as well into the world of MMA. Considering Mauro Ronaldo hasn't mentioned anything about WWE, his name hasn't been discussed on SmackDown in weeks as well, it seems increasingly likely that he will not be returning. What a way to make this guy leave. What a, what a send-off, really. Like, seriously, man. You don't mention him at all. I knew this was going to happen, something like this. They weren't going to... Once they got screwed with Ronaldo, people supporting him and bashing JBL... They're, they're just going to let it go. They're going to they're gonna detach themselves away from this guy because they think this guy's going to be a problem. And look what look what they're doing. The promotion usually doesn't let that appear or let the talent appear on TV for some time or for something that could be considered any form of com competition, which heavily suggests he's no longer employed here. Now, however, it's very interesting that Ronaldo is able to s appear at Showtime event as well. WWE has their performers sign non-compete clauses when they are released which usually goes about 90 days. So while the talent can work non-televised indie events, they don't often get to appear on television, especially in something so high profile. Now, another big reason to believe Ronaldo truly has left WWE is that he has deleted any mention of the company in his Twitter bio. Showtime Boxing ad Rutten Ronaldo Combat Sports uh, Carousel Mental Health Advocate. He took out WWE from his uh, Twitter bio. Um... Rodallo has been very open about his mental health issues. Uh, after missing March 14th, uh, he blamed the weather. Uh, JBL took to Twitter to seemingly mock his broadcast partner for not making the show in a since-deleted tweet. He's like, this is what JBL said, quote, I made the show, everyone made the show, everyone. Maybe you shouldn't have bashed me if he wasn't going to show up. Now, uh, then he deleted this tweet. Apparently, he thought this was a little too much. Um... The following week, Ronaldo once again did not appear on the show, and Tom Phillips briefly mentioned he was sick. Now, the week after that, there was no explanation given. It seems that the feud between Ronaldo and JBL, uh, I like how they call this a feud, really, uh, has been very public in a sense, um, but there has also been no official acknowledgement by either man that there is or was a legitimate heat between them. In fact, for JBL's part, he wished him nothing but the best. And, and literally, he said nothing else. Um... For many fans, the entire story is a shame. Ronaldo is really passionate about this. His work has been widely acclaimed and praised. Um, he won the 2016 Announcer of the Year Award. 
Uh, however, Ronaldo's victory actually seemed to, to be the beginning of the end for his run in the company. His broadcast partner, JBL, didn't even make the top 10. He even lost our, uh, out to Daniel Bryan, who only announced a handful of matches of the entire year. Well, I mean, it's not your choice to pick these guys, right? If JBL was doing this, JBL would have put him as number one. But obviously, this is the fans. So, if anything, you should step your game up. You bash other people... There's a limit to that, especially if you're a heel. If this is true and you're pissing off Ronaldo for real, then uh, this is pretty bullshit, man. Like you're 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 doing a lot of bullshit things. Um, the former wrestler aired his grievances publicly on the WWE Network uh, Network's Bring It to the Table series, where he has very dismissive and critical about Ronaldo's win and the fact that he tweeted about it. This is what he said. Okay, listen carefully. Quote. The man has 180-something thousand tweets. By the time the show airs, maybe 200,000. That is a problem, okay? And he retweets some internet poll. We have, what, 2 million people who watch SmackDown in the United States alone, and you have some internet poll with 12 people on it. Really? Wait, was that even necessary to mention? It's unsure whether Ronaldo truly is gone from the WWE, as he has no official said to this to this point, uh, or officially has not said uh, so at this point, but it's hard to imagine him taking over for Phillips, once again becoming the voice of SmackDown. Now that Phillips has actually proclaimed the uh, play-by-play role, that is difficult to see happening now. Um, if he ever interested, or if he's ever interested in getting back into the chaotic world of wrestling, announcing Impact or Ring of Honor would certainly be options, and they would gladly uh, accept. Or perhaps a return to AXS and covering New Japan Pro Wrestling could be in his future as well. We'll likely hear more about this situation in the coming days. The next news article. WWE fans call for the firing of JBL after bullying of Mauro Ronaldo surfaces. Um... The you know read from from what I'm reading from what I'm seeing from what I'm hearing, I this guy should have been fired a long time ago. If this is the case, um, I mean you're doing you did a lot of did a lot of piece of shits with CM Punk, and now you're doing absolutely nothing for Mauro Ronaldo. I mean you like it, are there certain people that WWE hates to go behind? You know, if you're not here for a long time and you're just a new guy, you know if the company doesn't if the company hates you or doesn't support you or isn't really that much with you you know doesn't doesn't really want to get in the way of a lot of your things um then they really won't stop anybody from doing what they can't do or what they you know if they do they'll get intentionally bashed for it and you have john bradshaw jbl right um just doing this by will um again another news article this this time says you know uh that they want JBL fired, uh, at least out of the commentating, well, not even the commentating role, just like out of here, you know, um, you know, um, Mar Ronaldo, who is reportedly done by WWE, um, and it seems he's leaving over depression caused by announcer partner John Brash Layfield bullying him. I mean, if the, you might think this is a little, like a little pussy thing that Mar Ronaldo is doing, listen to me, two things, number one, he has depression issues. And is that a knock? No. That's a fact. Number two, it's like going to a job that is unsafe. Like physically, like you could get hurt. If you do that, how can you even work? Same thing here. How can this guy work when he has somebody on his ass the whole time? Right? It's not gonna it's it's not gonna go well. You know, so Known for being WWE's go-to stooge when it comes to various media material, JBL is responsible for the bullying of several WWE superstars. Um, in fact, WWE did an entire storyline around the, around the angle with The Miz promoting that JBL was terrible to him at the beginning of his career. There, there's, there's another person. I was actually listening to that podcast a little bit earlier. Miz talking about, well, JBL talking about The Miz. You know, JBL actually claims The Miz... Um, situation was a storyline and it, it was however he did mess with Miz a lot earlier in his career as did many now JBL is a veteran in the business uh, he comes from old school philosophy which pushed him to mess with other superstars to see if he could get to them um, you know the idea is that you have to have thick skin to make it in pro wrestling if JBL got to you 
then uh, you were not fit for the job, which only meant the bullying would get worse until you responded or retaliated. Um, usually wrestlers do it all the time uh, in the name of fun, and both sides know this. Um, and trust me, Mauro Ranallo, man, this guy doesn't. This guy does not look like a soft guy. Okay, well, he 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 may like obviously acts like everybody's a good guy, but he he he's intentionally a face, play by play. I mean, I mean, let's just say like Jr. Really, also, I'm, I listen. This is an example, right? Jr. has been bashed a lot of times. Man, JBL has bashed Michael Cole multiple times, you know, and maybe maybe this has gone a little too far. But if Mauro Ronaldo, Mauro Ronaldo knows that this guy's joking, there must have been something that clicked in him that said, no, 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 this guy's now, he, he's being serious. And that's starting to get to me, and I don't like it, right? Because I'm telling you, everybody would have said something if JBL would have, uh, you know, intentionally done this to JR, or which he dare in hell not do, um, or even Michael Cole. Um, and everybody would have been talking about it. And at that point, we've, we would have seen some shit go down. We're seeing it now with Mauro Ranallo. And it seems like the triggering point was the Announcer of the Year award. I mean, g- seriously, man. Get the fuck out of your hole. Okay? Look at, look at the work you've been doing. It's not really that good. So you can't go out and tell guys like Mauro Ranallo, literally, like, I mean, begin to bully them because... They are better than you. And again, this is all from the news stories I'm hearing. If this is fake, well then, fuck me. I don't know what to say. Meanwhile, you had others go f- as far as the, it seems to be the case with JBL. Mauro Nolo is a gifted commentator. His knowledge on wrestling combat sports is known. And many fans absolutely love the real feel he brings to WWE. Uh, incidentally, JR is coming back to WWE due to the WWE realizing his amazing use to the business. Coincidentally. Um... Now, Morrow's exactly like him, uh, which helped him with the fans. Fa- uh, fans felt that since someone so as close to JR was with the WWE, then it means that things would be great to listen on the wrestler's show, known at, uh, as SmackDown Live. WWE SmackDown Live. His energy to the product and ability to make wrestlers matter and given and even give them nicknames was literally just like J- JR of the past. And uh, fans could not help but love Morrow Ronaldo. Uh, what Mara brought to the table each week, and everyone was happy. He was seemingly, uh, he was there seemingly. Now WWE seemed to not be as thrilled, however, and we know this. Um, shortly into the brand split, Tom Phillips was added to the desk as the host of the show. Now Vince McMahon apparently did not like Mara, uh or like how Morrow did the promotion parts of the show, and knew Tom could do it better in his eyes. At least, to- at least we like Tom Phillips. I-, I don't think the guy's a bad, anyways, right? I have no- nothing against him. Tom Phillips is good. Um. But uh, you can't see the good in Mauro Ronaldo. I don't know what company you're running, bro. You're running a professional wrestling company. Um, Mauro still called the matches and did a great job um, within or within or with it, in spite of WWE seemingly pushing Tom to, in to replace him. So Mauro has bipolar and depression issues, uh, trouble in the past. Uh, that is known. Uh, and perhaps it was not something he advertised for the likes of JBL to know right off. However, JBL most likely would have been told. It is rumored but not proven JBL was told by management to bully Morrow. Uh, it may have only been for the announced booth during shows to help a dynamic. However, we do not know how much further it went. The two e- are even blocked from talking on Twitter after JBL apparently blocked Morrow and all. Um, so on television, people understand the banter with Morrow and all and JBL as it he did the same with Michael Cole. Exactly. Uh, however, away from the desk, we didn't know how much, you know, further it went. Um, so if the WWE were to lose him, it's be hor- it would be horrible. It said Morrow uh, was going to remain under contract until it expires in August. And he will not be on television, but apparently he's going to be on boxing, uh, Showtime Boxing, calling it on live television. Um, and, and it was supposed to be tonight, I think, or something. Now, now many fans, uh, you know, also think that uh, the right move is to fire JBL. And it is confirmed now that his bullying was the cause or remove from him. Uh, or wait, uh, many fans feel the best move to do is either, fi- okay, fire JBL, uh, 
f- for causing this depression, and it is confirmed now that the bullying was the case, or moving from the WWE SmackDown Live at least. Even a hashtag FireJBL is going around on social media. Holy shit. Holy shit, I gotta, I gotta start tweeting that. <laughs> Now, uh, with the WWE Superstar shakeup coming next week, WWE could switch Corey Graves and JBL from their shows and allow Corey Graves to end up on the blue brand and JBL on the red. Um, just throwing this out there, I think that would work as well for Corey Graves. I mean, the guy does 205 Live, and I would love to see Corey Graves on the show anyways, um, commentate SmackDown and some of you know the guys on SmackDown, um, especially with Tom Phillips. They have good chemistry, and the guy can bully uh, David Otunga. You know? I'd like to see that as well. But the main story here is that now JBL is back with Cole and Graves. Uh, works with Mauro yet again if Mauro Ronaldo does come back. Because now they'll have Mauro Ronaldo and um, Corey Graves instead of um, JBL. And their chemistry has always been quite good. Now, while it is unknown if WWE will ever fire JBL, I, I probably doubt it. Um, it does seem like it would be very unlikely. <laughs> there you go. They tend to speak through JBL on television uh, and on the WWE Network, his view and WWE's view, and he does well as their mouthpiece, really. Uh, It is not shocking that JBL was seemingly used to push down Mauro Ronaldo, but it is sad that Mauro Ronaldo could be gone over such a thing when he's truly one of the best in the world at what he does. And that is commentate and announce wrestling. Unfortunate news, man. Um, Mauro Ronaldo seemingly leaving WWE, you know, this is very interesting and very speculative because if he was going to leave, uh, they would have probably come on terms. WWE would have announced this, you know, him leaving for sure. They announced everybody's release. Um, major news uh, articles would have announced this, but they didn't. And they would have also, um, you know, had the 90-day contract. And this guy's going to be, he's, he's, I'm pretty sure like right now at this point as I'm recording, he'll probably, he's probably commentating Showtime Boxing and I'll have to find that on my television and see, uh, you know, that. Um, but the thing is that I don't think that he's officially gone from WWE. Um, I think he's trying to distance himself away from this. People that have mental health issues, um, tend to not get involved in the things that stress them out the most. Which I understand, which makes sense. Um, but again, you can't just speculate the guy's leaving at this point just because he deleted the tweets and from his bio and everything. Um, you can't just say the guy's leaving right now. Um, you can say he's disting himself a little bit. He may be back, but at this point, I don't know what he would do. You got JR back. You got Tom Phillips in the role. Um, you know, I, I really don't know um, because now you have a lot of people failing in that role. So my, maybe... Maybe uh, Mauro Ronaldo uh, had some contracts signed that he was able to, um, you know, work with uh, Showtime Boxing. Uh, maybe he will be leaving soon. It's unfortunate. I can tell you this right now, man. JBL is not getting fired. <laughs> if he's going to get any punishment, probably go to Monday Night Raw or probably just stop commentating at the most. At the most. The least that could happen is, well, nothing, really. But he's not getting fired. Are you stupid? He's like, he's the only heel that Vince thinks is great. So whatever the case is, um, it's unfortunate, man. Uh, again, if this is true, I heard a lot of, other, I heard Vince Russo talking about this. I heard The Miz talking about it. I heard a lot of people talking about um, JBL. And JBL has also confirmed and said that, yes, he was an asshole. I don't I, I got to give him that, man. Who Nobody really, had, no, not a lot of people have balls to say that. This guy did. Well, uh, that makes you an asshole for saying it anyways. I don't know what else to say, man. Mauro Ronaldo potentially leaving WWE. Unfortunate. People wanted JBL fired. You know what I would have done? Take this guy just off commentary, please. Uh, he's he's horrendous. Corey Graves, um, if you need another heel commentator, bro, put, I mean, I guess Jerry Lawler um, can't go for because of his health. But, man, I'd, I'd put him back. To be honest, he's better than JBL. And... Um, you know, you might have to find another heel commentator. You might have to bring somebody up. But again, you only have two heel commentators in the business, JBL and Corey Graves. So you're not going to get rid of either one of them. You're 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 low on commentators, just like you're low on uh, a lot of uh, your roster. Well, that's that's, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning into this video. Mar Ronaldo, is he leaving? We don't know yet. I will st- stay tuned for this uh, news and 
upload more videos tomorrow for you guys. See you later, guys. Peace out.